Hello everyone. I want to start a new series with this video. I will talk about artificial intelligence applications in games. Our first topic is head follow. When we pass by a character, we will turn his head and make him follow us. First of all, I will use this character distributed free of charge on fab.com as an AI character. We will need an animation blueprint. From the menu that opens with right click, select animation, then animation blueprint. Select book head monster as skeleton and create it. Let's take idle animation in the asset browser and connect it to the result. Idle animation should play when we compile. Now create our character and assign the animation blueprint. I will create a folder Add a blueprint class and select character. When we enter it, we select this creature as a mesh. Position it and select the animation blueprint we created. Now let's add the character to the scene. Yes, idle animation is playing. Now let's make it follow us with its head. Let's call the transform modify bone node. Now we need to select the bone we will modify. While the node is selected, we select the neck one bone in the bone to modify section in the details panel on the right. We will not change the translation and scale values, so we can uncheck expose as a pin option. Likewise, we will not need the alpha value. Let's connect idle to the component pose. Let's connect the transform bone node to the output pose. We received a warning. A component was not selected to modify. In the details panel on the right, select rotation mode as add to existing and compile. Let's assign the rotation value to a variable and name it head rotation. Let's go to the event graph. We will need the find look at rotation node. To start, we need to get the location of try get pawn owner. Let's connect the get actor location node here and connect the result to start. For target, we need to call get player character node and get its location. Let's set the head rotation variable with return value. It follows us, but we need a restriction. Also, when we move up and down, it turns its head to the wrong side. Let's solve these problems. And we got an error. This problem will be solved if we use isValidNode for character. Now let's fix the problem of the head turning in the wrong direction. Let's bind break rotator node after find look at rotation. Let's connect make rotator node to variable. The Z value is working correctly, we can bind it to the Z value again. X should be connected to Y and Y should be connected to X. But we have to multiply the values by negative one. Let me show you why.
Now it should work correctly. Now we have to limit the rotation because the head rotates too much. We need to use clam for that. First of all, we have two different problems. Firstly, we have to normalize his head after we're out of sight. And then there's the problem of a sudden flip. Now let's create a variable. It should be a Boolean variable called in range. Now we need to make a control. If the Z value in head rotation is greater than 45 or less than negative 45, set the Boolean value false. For false, set the boolean value true. Let's add a branch right after the isValid node and bind a boolean variable. If the character can see us, the process continues. If not, set the head rotation value to zero and continue from the second branch. I think I found the bug. We need to get these nodes we've bound to the variable from here. You can move these connections by holding down the control key. Now it's time to smooth out the head movement. We'll use the R interp tunnel. Let's connect it to the set node here. We need to connect the head rotation variable to current. Target should already be zero. We will get the delta time value from here. Let's make the interp speed value five. We should do the same in the other set section. At first glance, there is a hard transition again. We need to solve this too. I forgot to bind the delta time value. Let's also bind a select to the interp speed value here. Let's create a variable. Let's call it to player and let it be of Boolean type. If it is false, keep it zero. If it is true, make it five. At the end, let's set this value. The first one should be true. The other one should be false. Now I realize I made another mistake. The target here should be the value from the rotator. Current should be head rotation.
I realize that the idle animation doesn't play, so I'll use cast at first. If you're finding value in these tutorials, hit that subscribe button and drop a like if you love the content. You can also ring the bell to stay updated. See you in the restaurant at the end of the universe.